Are you wondering what the best 10-inch tablet is for this year? If so, stay tuned, because by the end of the short video, you'll know exactly which one to choose. Let's get started with today's video. At number 5 is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. The Galaxy Tab S6 is Samsung's best effort in the tablet market and finally brings some clout to the Android Slate space. Can it get the job done? Let's find out. Design-wise, the Tab S6 features an aluminum chassis, brilliant 10.5-inch AMOLED display with dual rear cameras. It's available in two colors, Mountain Gray and Rose Blush. Both models look essentially the same from the front, a black bezel with white screen in the middle. The 5.7mm thick design feels slim in the hand and the bezels are pretty small, giving it a light, portable feeling overall. It's solid and well-finished. Moreover, the Tab S6 supports a stylus same as the Galaxy Note series phones. Samsung carved out a channel for the stylus on the rear that also serves as a charging dock. For performance, the Galaxy Tab S6 uses a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor with the option of 6GB or 8GB of RAM, paired with either 128 or 256GB of storage. Plus, has a micro SD card slot so you can expand storage by another 512GB. The display is a 2560 by 1600 AMOLED panel with HDR10 Plus support, making a cinematic video look beautiful thanks to the excellent contrast provided by OLED. On the back, you've got a dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel standard camera plus a 5 megapixel ultra wide cam. There's also an 8 megapixel forward facing cam. Moving on, as a media tablet, this is definitely a great option, especially when you factor in the impressive speakers, which are loud, clear, and give solid stereo separation when it's square in front of you. A quick word regarding the battery life, which is fairly solid in use. As ever, it depends on what you're doing, but 10 hours of work is easily achieved. To conclude, the Tab S6 is a solid tablet. It's beautifully designed, it's got a lovely screen and speakers, and the fact that it comes with a stylus makes it great value and one we recommend you take a look at. At number 4 is the Microsoft Surface Go. It was a gorgeous machine that brings you an excellent Windows 10 experience in a 10-inch tablet. On design, when you think of a budget Windows machine, you usually don't think of sturdy build quality, but that's exactly what you get with the Surface Go. The silver magnesium case looks and feels premium, weighing just 1.15 pounds and still a featherweight 1.66 pounds with a keyboard attached. Plus, you get the same nifty kickstand that you'll find on the more expensive Surface Pro, which makes it easy to switch from tablet to laptop mode, or just standing up the tablet so you can binge on Netflix. There's one USB-C port, a Surface Connect port for charging and docking, and a micro SD card slot to go along with the headphone jack. On to performance, the Surface Pro feels speedy in everyday use. It features an Intel Pentium Gold 4415Y processor with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of eMMC storage. Microsoft's display game continues to be top-notch on the Surface Go, at 1800x1200 pixels. Like most tablets, the bezels around the 10-inch pixel sense display is pretty large, but that just allows you to grip the device from any side without accidentally triggering anything on the screen. The optional keyboard for the Surface Pro is surprisingly comfy to use, and we like that it's backlit. Additionally, the Surface Go does an excellent job handling a typical workload, juggling 15 open tabs in Google Chrome and the Stride messaging app while streaming Spotify. As for battery life, we found it was around 6 hours on a charge, and perhaps a bit longer if the battery saver feature is used. Overall, the Surface Go is the ultimate secondary PC. Although small, the 10-inch display is bright and colorful. The Pentium performance is pretty solid for the price and the build quality and sheer portability can be beaten and would make a great choice. At number 3 is the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Pro. Lenovo's 10.1-inch Yoga Tab 3 Pro is a powerful Android slate that adds a rotatable mini projector for beaming content onto walls, ceilings, or screens. Design-wise, as soon as you picked it up, the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Pro feels like a premium product. Its metal and aluminum construction feels really solid and the leather panel on the back is soft to the touch and really comfortable to hold. The solid build makes for a weight of 665 grams. Additionally, the unique kickstand gives you four angles for easy viewing anywhere. Scroll through recipes while you cook, check your social feeds while you eat, watch movies while you work out, whatever works for you. On the top of the tablet, you'll find a micro USB port, and on the bottom, there's a headphone jack. Under the hinge, there's a place to put a micro SD card. 
Performance-wise, the Yoga Tab 3 Pro runs on a quad-core Intel Atom X5 Z8500 at 1.44 to 2.24 GHz, supported by 2 GB of RAM. There's a 13-megapixel rear camera and a front-facing 5-megapixel camera. The 10.1-inch screen delivers a very impressive 2560 by 1600 pixels, that's 299 ppi, which is right at the top end of current 10-inch tablet standards. Moving on, the Yoga Tab 3 Pro's signature feature is the integrated projector that's built into the stand. This essentially allows you to adjust the angle of the projector's throw and still use the tablet easily while it's projecting, which is awesome for presentations. We must mention the sound quality. The Tab 3 Pro has four integrated front-facing speakers with Dolby Atmos to deliver powerful, clear dynamic audio, which we really liked. Plus, it has an 18-hour battery life, allowing you to play all day and night without needing to charge. Overall, the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Pro offers a cool projector and long battery life making it a great choice for those wanting to use a tablet for entertainment. At number 2 is the Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. Amazon's cheap but good enough media tablet gets a much needed speed boost and updated software, which is just enough to make the Fire HD 10 still the budget tablet to buy for bigger screen video watching. Slip the Fire HD 10 from its simple cardboard packaging, and you'll find a minimalist design that's all about the 10.1-inch screen. At 9.8 mm thin, 504 grams in weight, and 262 mm long, the Fire HD 10 is fairly easy to hold on a couch or pack for the commute. A range of own brand cases can put a cover over the screen that folds into an effective kickstand. In addition, when moving around the body, you'll find a 3.5 mm headphone socket, volume controls, micro USB, and the standby button all sitting on one end, with a covered micro SD card slot on the side. Performance-wise, the Fire HD 10 features a brilliant 10.1-inch 1080p Full HD display, 1920x1200 screen, with a quad-core 1.8GHz processor, plus 2GB of RAM and either 32 or 64GB of onboard storage, expandable up to 256GB via microSD. Great for keeping photos, favorite movies, and compatible games and apps with you. The Fire HD 10 includes Alexa integration as standard. You can now use Alexa hands-free mode to pause videos, play music, open apps, show sports scores, display the weather, and more. Just ask. Moreover, stereo speakers in the top are fairly loud and clear, but lack bass and sound a little shrill when turned up to maximum. There's a headphone socket or Bluetooth for connecting your own headphones. We must mention the battery life. The Fire HD 10 continued for 11 hours 22 minutes. And should you require extra juice, you can use a power bank to charge the tablet via the micro USB port. To conclude, if you want a new tablet for yourself or your kids but don't want to spend a lot, then get the Fire HD 10. It's the best value tablet you can buy. At number one is the Apple iPad Air. Pad Air is much like the iPad Pro in all but name. If you can live without the Face ID, uniform bezels, and Type-C port offered by the current Pro, then this 10.5-inch iPad is a compelling offering, especially considering its cheaper price point. Design-wise, the iPad design is iconic, therefore its design hasn't changed drastically despite the expanded screen real estate. The aluminum frame feels well-built and cool to the touch. It features a Touch ID home button in the bottom bezel and the same speaker design, meaning those bezels remain fairly large, but they're practical for holding onto. As for color choices, the Air comes in silver, gold, and space gray. What sets the Air apart from the regular 10.2-inch iPad is the A12 Bionic processor. This is powerful, efficient, and able to handle pretty much anything you throw at it. If you want to edit a movie in iMovie or churn through some photos in Lightroom, it'll do that effortlessly. The LCD screen is a highlight, being bright enough to see in sunny conditions, and it looks sharp. Additionally, the gesture interface makes it easy to navigate with a large screen, and there are several multitasking features that make the iPad Air more versatile. And if you want to get work done on the iPad Air, you're in luck because it supports the smart keyboard as well as the Apple Pencil. As for the battery, the Air has a 30.2 watt hour rechargeable battery, which is good for around 10 hours of Wi Fi browsing. To conclude, the iPad Air isn't the most innovative Apple slate on the market, but by getting all the basics right, it easily earns a place as one of the year's best tablets and is an ideal option for most buyers. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future.
If you do have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you.